Lidocaine is a medication that is used as a local anesthetic as well as an antiarrhythmic drug. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover all the important facts about lidocaine so you'll be ready come testing. Welcome to the local market, where local vendors sell their fresh fruits and vegetables, handmade items, and of course, we can't forget this homemade jam. This woman here makes fresh jam right here in her market booth. See how she's using a lighter to light the stove? Let this lighter serve as your memory anchor to lidocaine, since a lighter sounds like lidocaine, right? Now that you're anchored to the scene, let's move on to some other drug names you should know. This woman has been coming to the local market for years and years, and in her ripe older age, she uses a cane to get around. By the way, this cane represents the cane ending of drugs related to lidocaine. In addition to lidocaine, you may see other drug names like bupivacaine, mepivacaine, and tetracaine used in the hospital. When you see a drug ending in cane, just think back to this mnemonic, and you'll know that you're talking about drugs related to lidocaine. Something startled the woman while she was using the lighter and she accidentally burned her finger. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Luckily, a customer has a Band-Aid handy. This painful burn, along with the Band-Aid, represents how lidocaine is an analgesic, meaning it relieves pain. Because a burn is painful and you put Band-Aids over painful things like burns, right? What's more, I mentioned before how we're at the local market. Gotta support your local vendors. Which reminds me, lidocaine and related drugs are local analgesics. This means that these drugs work to numb pain only in the local area surrounding where the drug is injected or where a patch is placed. These drugs cannot treat general pain all over the body. They work in a specific local area. Typically, lidocaine is used for things like numbing the skin to reduce the pain of an IV insertion, numbing the mouth of a patient before dental procedures, or numbing the skin for a patient receiving stitches. On top of its local analgesic uses, lidocaine actually has a completely different function when it enters the bloodstream. Let's find the culprit of the startling noise that caused this woman so much pain, the radio. The woman loves listening to the radio as she makes her jam, but the radio was having some technical difficulties and suddenly burst into loud static. Here at Pixarize, we use static to represent arrhythmias. Since the jagged static line looks kind of like the jagged irregular heart rhythm of an arrhythmia seen on EKG or heart monitors. You see, when lidocaine is administered into the bloodstream, it actually works as an antiarrhythmic drug. Specifically, lidocaine treats ventricular arrhythmias, which you can remember from that V-shaped antenna causing the static. V for ventricles, okay? Lidocaine can be used to treat ventricular fibrillation, ventricular tachycardia, and premature ventricular contractions, or PVCs. As a side note, when given as a local analgesic, there are usually minimal side effects, but when given as an IV infusion, the patient may experience symptoms like bradycardia, hypotension, and headache. You probably won't be tested on this information, but it's just something to be aware of. All right, that's all for this video on lidocaine. Let's recap. Lidocaine and related drugs ending in cane, like bupivacaine, mepivacaine, and tetracaine, are local analgesics used to numb pain felt in local areas. Clinically, these drugs are usually administered as local injections prior to painful procedures. In rare cases, lidocaine is administered intravenously to enter the bloodstream, where it acts as an antiarrhythmic effective in treating ventricular arrhythmias. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to help myself to this woman's fresh, locally made jam. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.